So the uh, New York Times wrote this piece. Pfft, this is so st- yes, the laptop is real. I, I, I don't, I'm not waiting for anybody in the legacy media to confirm whether or not the laptop is real. The laptop is real. And what ended up happening is that you had the legacy press collude with the Democrats and really with the Bidens to protect Joe Biden's presidency. I really don't think either that Joe Biden is doing this uh, at all to protect his son. And that's something I keep hearing over and over again. Well, he just wanted to protect his son. I don't think he did. I don't really think that he that he uh, wanted to protect his son. I think that he just did whatever was most convenient and financially rewarding for him at the time. And then he just wanted to minimize any kind of hit that he would have against himself. And they said Hunter Biden's apparently, I mean, he has been under an investigation, federal investigation for a while. But Democrats don't talk about it. When Obama tried to bring it up, I think this was during 2012. Obama tried to bring it up with Biden because he apparently, and I'm not saying this is like, good good call Obama's judgment. He's looking out for his bottom line too. Uh, But apparently the uh, question of some of Hunter Biden's business dealings, and this was long before I think it was realized by a lot of people just how financially beneficial that was to Joe Biden. But when Barack Obama and his advisors apparently brought up this liability of Hunter Biden, Joe Biden lost it. And they reportedly got in a huge fight. I think it was Washington Post that reported on this. This is back in like 2012. They got into a huge fight over it. And that was the end of it. You don't bring it up again. Biden has a tantrum every time you bring it up. Much like Russia has a tantrum every time you sneeze at it wrong. Biden has a tantrum every single time that somebody brings up Hunter Biden because he's a liability. And sorry, but Joe Biden's a crap bother. You can go ahead and you can quote me on this all you want to. Can we have accountability or are we, oh no, it's his stutter. Is his stutter the reason why his son grew up to be a co and tried to merch out the vice president's seat while his dad was in office and tried to do the same thing with the hopes that his dad was going to be in the Oval Office and then was stupid enough. You know, Actually, he wasn't stupid enough to put everything on a computer. He put everything on a computer as insurance policy against his dad because I think that there's a weird relationship between Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. Clearly, it seems like there were there were favorites with the Biden kids and Hunter Biden realized this and Hunter Biden, if you noticed all the emails that came out that people like the New York Times, the New York Times came out with this really ridiculous piece today where they were saying that, uh, oh, free speech is, you know, under threat or, or some. I have this headline. I think it's under media. We have a free speech problem. Yeah, we have a, America has a free speech problem. How, well, the New York Times was an active participant in that. That's like that 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 meme where you have the cartoon dude riding a bike and then he sticks a twig in the spokes and the bike falls over and he hugs and clutches his knee. New York Times stuck a twig in the spokes of their bicycle, fell over, and then wants to know what's wrong with the bicycle wheels today. You're an active participant in this. The press colluded with the Bidens. They wanted to... They wanted to protect Democrats because Joe Biden had been selected as the face of their party. This was all about power and to preserve their access to power. Nobody has done more to diminish the institution of the free press than the press itself. Nobody. They deserve every bit of criticism and vitriol they receive. And like I said, back to my original point, that laptop now that we can all discuss... I was one of the people suspended on social media because I shared a story about big tech covering it on Substack. And I tweeted out my link on Substack and Twitter suspended my account. I had to delete all my tweets that linked my own piece that I wrote about how big tech was was trading this. You know the whole little fact check thing that Twitter has? I, to this day, cannot sign up to be a fact checker because I disputed the legitimacy of the very real laptop story. That's the reason that's used against me. Twitter's a steaming pile of male copulatory organs. I think we all realize this. And it's, I just like pointing out the hypocrisy of it all. Everyone's like, why don't you leave? Um, Because I don't ever give up ground. I guess you don't fight. Because I do. Okay. So, I do think that Hunter Biden put all that stuff on the laptop as insurance policy against dear old daddy. Don't you think so? I think that. Because I know it's very easy to just assume that he is as stupid as he looks. 
And that he just willy-nilly saved. Who else saves all of that stuff like that on the laptop? Although, can I point this out briefly? The whole saving of every bit of, of evidence, apparently, to incriminate your own family is something that runs in the family. Because didn't the daughter, who's like a year younger than me or my age or something, I don't know how, I can't remember how old she is. But she kept a diary like a tween would keep a live journal back in the early aughts and put everything in this thing. It was her romantical times diary or it was her sex diary, which is weird. I don't know. I guess it's a thing now because Ashley Biden made it a thing. They write all this stuff down. Who documents their lives like this besides Instagram influencers that want to tell you what beauty product they're not actually using? Who documents everything like this to this extent? Was it, it just seems weird. The whole family seems weird and dysfunctional. I said what I said about Biden's parenting, and I stand by it. I mean, for real. You have a kid who grew up to be a crack whore and who got kicked out of the Navy for cocaine because he wouldn't stop snorting the booger sugar and then ends up further getting in trouble and implicating your entire, not just your candidacy for president, but the entire party. And for all the people who go, well, Hunter Biden, the 50-something-year-old baby man-child of Joe Biden, precious little, you know, Hunter Biden. They, they talk about him like he's this giant baby. He wasn't irrelevant. He was, on fo- he was involved in business within his dad, the vice president of the United States. He was on phone calls with Ukrainian leaders. He was introducing political leaders to his dad for favors. So you can't make the argument that he's irrelevant without then denying the active investigation into him currently because it's so bad that they even under a Democrat President Obama at the time, they had to begin an investigation because that's how bad it was. Although I maintain that Obama started that because Obama and Biden never really got along. And not to the extent I think that it was like Reagan and H.W. Bush, uh, but they didn't really ever get along. And I think that the Obamas always hated Hunter Biden. I mean, they, I, there were accusations that their kids were snorting coke together and all kinds of stuff. That's, I mean, it's a rumor mill. But if you're a parent and you're hearing this kind of stuff, you might not want your kid to be around the washed up, you know, guy who's, you know, how many like hookers does he go through a week? I don't know. He uses daddy's uh, Amex his, uh, or his black card to chop up his piles of cocaine. I don't know.